Okay, so now I'm gonna get some help with someone actually demonstrating a presentation. Who wants to help me with this? Wade? No, okay, Jim, how about you? No? Um, okay, Amy, Amy, how about you? Had a girl, come on out. Um, on second thought, no thank you. Yeah, I was, I was afraid that might happen. You might even be able to identify with that fear that most of us have as public speakers. It's the number one ranked fear. In fact, it ranks higher than death. So get that in your mind. Most of us are more afraid to speak in public than we are to die. Okay, so Amy, what happens to many of us when we get up to speak is a fear factor. It hits big time, right? So when the fear factor kicks in, it moves our brain into an emotional mode, and we do one of three things. We either fight, or we flight, or we freeze. We might have even seen speakers do one of those three things, right? And what's happening for us is our mind is sort of silently going into the future that hasn't happened yet, and fear sinks in. And the next thing you know, we start imagining all these scenarios that they're not real yet, but in our mind they are. And so our body takes over and it just shuts down. So there's a great technique that a lot of professional speakers use. It's called the litany. And it allows us to calm the mind down, calm our emotions down, and come into the present moment. Would you like to learn it? Yes, definitely. All right, that's great. All right, so close your eyes. And I want you to become just really conscious of what's happening around you right now. I'd like for you to breathe in really deeply just pay attention to your breath and now breathe out and feel what your body's feeling right now. Breathe in one more time and then just breathe out. So as you focus mentally, I want you to just walk through what your body might be experiencing right now. You kind of can feel your head pounding and the blood flowing. Your eyes may be twitching a little bit. Your throat feels a little dry and scratchy tense, your neck is tightened up, your shoulders are all up, they're not relaxed. You might even feel your heart beating really fast. You probably hear the air conditioner going, you can maybe even feel it, and yet something in your body says it's, it's not right because it feels warm in here to me and I can hear the air conditioner running. Maybe you now just heard that text alert hit your cell phone. Okay, Amy, you can open your eyes. How do you feel? Actually, I feel pretty good. Yeah, it's amazing what focusing on a present moment can do to calm our nerves down. Yeah, I'm just, I'm kind of confused though why we were focusing on all these negative things that were going on. Okay, so great question. Um, we're often afraid of what hasn't happened yet. So our mind is running ahead and it's imagining all these crazy scenarios like we're going to trip over the podium or our notes are going to go scattering or we're not going to or people are going to run out of the room, right? So by focusing on what's happening in your body and in the surroundings in this moment doesn't allow your mind to think about the future that hasn't occurred yet. So even though we're focused on maybe what seems negative in our body, our heart's racing, or our throat's really tight, it doesn't allow us to go into a scenario of fear that hasn't occurred yet. So that's, that's awesome. It's pretty yeah. amazing what just being mindful of this moment can accomplish for us. So I got an idea. What's you ready that? to try this again? I think I can give it a shot. I think you can too. Take off. Hey, I have a great idea. Why don't you give it a quick try? Go ahead and pause the video at this point and practice this technique yourselves.